Today, we're gonna look at five things I loved from the last year, so please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, so if this is your first time watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Well, a popular topic on my channel are the product reviews. I will often review an amateur radio related item as hams are infinitely curious on how a particular things are functioning. So as we close out 2018, I've compiled a list of five items that I've um, reviewed and continue to use on a regular basis. Some of the items were provided by me by the manufacturers, but others are purchased by me. So when I find something I like, I want to share it with the rest of the amateur radio community. Links for more information or to purchase the items can be found in the video description below. And as a general disclaimer, I may receive an affiliate income with some of these links. It doesn't affect the price you pay and it also helps keep this channel going. So thank you for your support. Well, the top five product reviews of 2018 in no particular order are as follows. First up, the Isotip Solder Pro 90 Butane Soldering Iron. This review actually came out in December of 2017, but it's a really good product and I wanted to include it in this year's rundown. I'm a fan of butane soldering irons for working on something outdoors. The Solder Pro 90 heats up fast and delivers a punch, making it easy to do a quick repair out at the field day site or maybe to put a PL259 connector on some coax out at the repeater. The hot air tip is especially handy for working with heat shrink tubing. You'll find the Solder Pro 90 at isotip.com or online at Amazon. Next is Wolf River Coils Silver Bullet 1000. I actually own two Wolf River Coils. I got the 10 through 40 meter coil a couple of years ago, and this last year I picked up the longer 10 through 80 meter version. Uh, the shorter coil is great for portable operation. I used it at uh, National Parks on the Air event a few years back, and the longer coil gets set up in my backyard as the wintertime vertical antenna. What I like about these coils besides their portability and simplicity, is the price. Uh, you can put together a complete vertical antenna system for about $100. These coils are part of my camping kit, so if you love portable operation, you should check them out. Details can be found at wolfrivercoils.com. The third item, the Green Egg for Ham's NMO cover. I was sent one of these covers to review, and it couldn't have come at a better time as I was putting in a mobile radio system in my Subaru Outback. The Green Egg for Hams is a novel little cover to protect your NMO mount when the antenna is not screwed in. I keep mine on the car and use it when I take the Outback through the car wash. The covers are sold under, on eBay under the username General3D or go to www.general3d.com. Next is the Redivis HD1 Dual Band DMR Handheld. This past year was a big one for me in getting into DMR radio. It all started with Redivis sending me a copy of their RT82 handheld to review, but my favorite model so far has been the Islands HD1 dual band DMR handheld radio. A couple of things I like about the HD1 are its beefy battery, which is necessary for the radio's 10 watt transmitter, the audio quality, promiscuous mode, and the ability to program and make changes to the settings and channels on the fly. With the promiscuous mode, it is easy to monitor all the talk groups on the repeater and to quickly switch to a talk group if you wish to jump into the conversation. Early models had some firmware issues, but uh, Redivis addressed those in the late summer of 2018, and it is really easy to upgrade the radio, and it's now operation is rock solid. The HD1 is available direct from the Redivis website and also from Amazon. And speaking of radio reviews, the other transmitter that I enjoyed reviewing this year was the Redivis RT95 dual band mobile radio. The RT95 is analog only, and it puts out about 25 watts of power on the two meter and 70 centimeters band. It's priced right and has a couple of novel features, such as software programmable buttons, a dual watch mode and with a one touch single band mute, and the option to invert the display. Uh, the TFT LED display is bright albeit a little bit cluttered. Uh, of the inexpensive Chinese uh, mobile radios on the market, this is one of the better ones. I continue to use mine as a backup or second VHF transceiver in my shack, which is handy when you're in net control for Skywarn weather nets. The radio is available on Amazon and also from the Redivis website. 
Is there a product review that caught your attention in the last year? Is there a product you'd like me to review in the coming year? Please leave them in the comments below. And really, please don't bother telling me about that $3,000 transceiver because unless you're gonna send me a loaner copy, it's probably outside my budget. But um, I'd love to hear your suggestions. For more articles and information, be sure to check out my blog at www.jpol-antenna.com. Your support of this channel is what drives the production of future videos. So if you enjoyed this, please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Pressing subscribe will notify you when future videos are released. Well, thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day and 73.